afternoon everyone and welcome back to my channel thank you for watching today I'm going to show you how I make a regular store-bought tin crust pizza fabulous I'm going to add my own topping to it and um, just dress it up a little bit and uh, make it into a very yummy delicious pizza now as you can see over here I have the pizza the pizza crush crust that I've already um, bought I'm using delicio crispy it says mince here but it's pepperoni and cheese pizza um, I'm going to top it with some spinach leaf some cayenne pepper flakes some red green and yellow pepper and some um baby toma tomatoes i think these are the grape ones some onion and i'm gonna top that off with a little bit of mastro extra virgin olive oil and some president choice gouda firm cheese which i'm going to grate and add it to the pizza So I've grated the cheese. Um, I did a generous amount because I love my pizza cheesy. Um, I did almost half of the, um, the one block. And I've removed the pizza from the package. And this is what it looks like. And it's a square piece that, um, pizza I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to start by adding the veggie. Okay. So first I'm going to add the peppers and I'm not going to add them in any manner. I'm just going to place them onto the pizza. And you can do this in whatever, whichever manner you want. I like to put the, um, the peppers first because it's the hardest to cook. And then I'm going to add the bit of the onion. I'm going to do it layer by layer, guys. I've added most of the onion. Now I'm adding the tomatoes. And guys, you don't have to use the um, plum tomato. You can use the regular tomato. Or any tomato of your choice. I just think that the plum tomato gives the pizza a little bit of sweetness. Okay so I'm just gonna continue to add and what you're gonna do you're gonna spread all of the, the veggie around. Now I'm gonna add some of the spinach leaves and add that around generously because as you know it's going to shrink okay look how yummy and colorful that looks and this is a lot of spinach leaves but the reason I I did a lot of spinach leaves is because we love spinach plus it's it's easily shrunken or shrink. Okay, so I'm adding the remainder. That's what that look like. And now I'm gonna add some of the cheese. And guys, you can add some of the cheese before you onto the pizza before you add the um the veggie you can do it in layers but it doesn't matter because all of the cheese is gonna melt down onto the veggie and it's going to be delicious okay, I have one more spinach leaf no I'm gonna add the pepper I'm just gonna sprinkle this around the canned pepper gives the pizza a delicious delicious 
spicy flavor. And now I'm going to add the extra virgin um, olive oil. I'm just going to do a generously amount of olive oil because you need to soak up the veggie into the olive oil. Okay, this should do it. And then I'm going to sprinkle the remaining of the cheese that's left over, which is not a lot. I'm just going to sprinkle some more on the top, on the sides. Make sure you get all of the pizza. And guys, I'm doing a medium pizza. Okay, and I finished put, putting all of the um, topping on the pizza and now I'm going to um, place it into the oven and I'm going to let it bake for about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, so I've heated up my oven and I'm just going to add the pizza to bake. And before I forget, I, teed, I reheat um, my oven and I put it at um, 385, um, the temperature at 385 degree. And now the pizza is in the oven um, cooking. So I'm just going to give it about 10 minutes and then I'm going to come back and check it. Okay, thanks for watching guys. And if you haven't subscribed, please remember to subscribe, like, and share. And a comment. Um, we like to talk. Thank you so much. You can see the pizza, it's about finished. It has been baking now for about 10 minutes and I'm going to remove it from the oven. And now I have removed the pizza from the oven and this is what it looks like. Look at all the cheese and the vegetable. Oh my God, melted on to that tin crust. This is gonna be delicious. And that um, pepper can, dried fake pepper, kick it up a notch. Oh, the taste is gonna be awesome. Oh my God, I can't wait to zinc my teeth into this. Look at the baby tomato, the spinach, everything just, just worked together so perfectly. Now I've taken it from this boring pizza to this yummy, delicious two minutes. Like takeout, or even better than takeout. Anyway guys, um, thank you for watching. Please remember to like, share, subscribe. And I'm going to leave the um, ingredients that I use for this recipe in the... Um, um, description section. Okay, thanks so much. Until next time, be inspired. Okay, so the pizza is ready. I leave it um, out for about five minutes because it was very hot and now I'm going to slice it. And I'm going to cut it in maybe about um, six, six pieces. Six to eight pieces. Oh, look how delicious that looks. Actually, it's three of us, so um, we're gonna cut it into six pieces. And we're using the pizza cutter, the one that you rolled. And although it's a thin crust pizza, when you're cutting pizza, you have to turn the pizza around from side to side and cut each side. Okay, look at that. Mm. Oh my God. Now I'm gonna plate it. This one. Two. Oops, the pizza is running away from me. Three pieces. Look how yummy and delicious that looks, guys. Looks better than in the store bought. Now time for the taste test. 
Mm. Oh my god. Mm. Mm. Really, really delicious. You guys should try this recipe. Again, thank you for watching. Please remember to share, like, and comment. Take care.